What's up, YouTube? Hey, this your boy Mind Frame and Hot Fresh Blaze. We're coming at you with another reaction video. This time we want to switch it up and do like a sport commentary one. But before you guys like look at this and be like, oh, sports commentary, give this one a chance. This is so funny. This is so funny. Oh my gosh. I just came across this, you know, when I, I didn't watch the whole thing because I wanted to do a reaction on it. But what a little bit I heard, I was crying, man. I was I was in the bed crying. So let's get this reaction going. Hopefully we can make some of you guys laugh today. That's my goal, making you making some of you guys laugh today. So let's get it. Let's get this. Forget to put their offense in drive as they can't get out of their own end zone. Matthew Stafford is sacked and fumbled. The ball is recovered by the New Orleans Saints for the score. Hey, Matt, don't feel too bad. It's not like you're going to turn the ball over again, right? We go out to Minnesota where Aaron Rodgers is trying to get the ball to Martellus Bennett, but his hands must be sponsored by some sort of lesbian because he's rejecting the ball. Wait, 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 he said he passed him the ball. He said, oh, my gosh, his his hands must be sponsored by some type of lesbian because he's rejecting the ball. <laughs> Yo, that's funny as hell, man. That's funny it's as hell. It's a huge measure, Sierra Cold and Horn Drill because they hit Aaron Rodgers with a one-hit KO. He's out for the game. Let's take a look at everybody who started Aaron Rodgers in fantasy. Yeah, they're not feeling too good about that today. <laughs> His, his spell card, mystical spell, space time continuum, and it jumps into the end zone. <laughs> what? Where is he coming up with this stuff, man? This man has some sort of my strange addiction. Which I'm gonna get to my strange. He did it last year. He did it a couple years back. TLC, get this man on your show. We have Atlanta where the Miami Dolphins are getting absolutely sodomized. Jay Cutler steps up in the pocket, tries to make a play, and he throws yet another interception. Let's take a look at that Miami Dolphins. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why he got the staff doing cocaine, man? <laughs> Let's look at the staff. <laughs> Houston, where there's an epidemic of dreadlock powers being used. <laughs> his fifth touchdown on the year. We head out to New York where the Jets are on the taxiway and getting ready to take flight. Josh McCown throws the ball to Jeremy. I like my fries curly. And he runs the ball into the end zone for the score. We head out to New Orleans where the Saints defense activate TM46. Thief! They take the ball to the end zone. <laughs> he wait. <laughs> Activate TMZ 47 Thief. <laughs> it's still the ball. It's not like you're going to turn it over again, right? We head back out to Houston where the Browns have the ball at the 23 yard line trying to make a play, and the ball's intercepted by Jonathan Joseph. He's going to make a house call and take it all the way to the house. Oh. Expecting the Browns to score is like expecting to get a girl pregnant while doing just anal. It's never going to happen. <laughs> we head out to Baltimore where it's so all the Super Bowl MVPs from what? Jacoby Jones Flacco is trying to make a play. He throws the ball, it's intercepted. By Bryce Callahan. He's out to the 35, out to the 40. He must have doused himself in some sort of raven repellent because it doesn't seem like they're going to touch him at all. He's at the 35 and they finally catch him at the 20 yard line. <laughs> he doused himself in raven, raven repellent. <laughs> this guy's killing me, man. Yo, we got so many jokes, man. He's like relentless with him. It's like back to back. Like so, like the, the unlock, they unlock an epidemic of uh, dreadlock powers because that's his that's his fifth uh, uh in like that's his fifth touchdown right, this back year. Back to MetLife Stadium, where the spirit of Scott Norwood must have migrated to the metropolitan area because Stephen Gaskowski's field goal is wide right. I'm sure you know all about that now, don't you, Nick Folk? You kick all the field goals wide right. Put your motherfucking head back down. Back to Baltimore, where the Bears are pilgrims and the Ravens' defense are Native Americans because they got absolutely fooled and put away. Wait, wait, wait. Did you hear what he said? He said, uh, go back to this game like where where the other team must be pilgrims and Native Americans because they got absolutely fooled. And the other team done a touchdown. He referred to them like, you know, how the pilgrims and the, the all Native Americans got fooled out of all their land and like their money and stuff like that. Like the pilgrims came, you know, to take their stuff or whatever. Oh, oh man. So Native Americans got fooled out of the pilgrims. Yeah, yeah. Yo, know, eventually they got fooled as well. Oh. Woo, God. So both of them got fooled, basically. Well, well, first off. The Native Americans got fooled. Yeah, yeah, first off, the Native Americans definitely got fooled because, like, pilgrims came and they, uh, they basically traded, like, their, their goods for, uh, 
the agricultural like uh, aspects of them because you know they was helping like fight scurvy and things like that like Native Americans knew a lot of stuff like clean teeth and things like that how to make corn you know but we're not gonna get into history we're not gonna get into it we're not gonna get into it team must be caught in the genjutsu because he's not down he's still going <laughs> genjutsu is basically like a <laughs> damn i'm crying man genjutsu is like a basically an illusion that like is being employed upon somebody so he like trapped the other team in the genjutsu <laughs> it was pretty funny man Captain houston with black uh, names matter to sean watson runs like play action fake to lamar miller throws the ball over the middle to deandre hopkins i'm telling you the dreadlocks <laughs> powers are real back to new jersey where the referees are clearly on mesh they say the jets player fumbled recovering his own ball and it's a touchback ball to the patriots what <laughs> Is it gonna help his team win? Absolutely not, because a couple drives later, you have Kirk Cousins take the ball into the end zone for himself. Touchdown Native Americans win for the Native Americans. We go back out to Atlanta where the Falcons have blown more leads than Mia Khalifa has blown tops as the ball's intercepted by Rashad Jones and Miami's gonna win the game. Time to celebrate good cocaine. Come on. The Lions are losing by 35 points. That's the same number of dicks Cardi B sucked before she got famous. Look at the no! What? No! That was disrespect. <laughs> that was disrespectful, family. <laughs> no, that is, damn. that's messed up, bro. <laughs> the same number. No. no, man. He ain't had to do Cardi B like that. We just did a video on Cardi B, man. No. Bob Jones. Meanwhile, in Los Angeles, the Jacksonville Jaguars are kicking the ball deep to Pharaoh Cooper, who must have activated all five pieces of Exodia because he's about to obliterate the special teams. Like shit. You should, dummy. We 
head back out to Baltimore where Michael Campanero is back there to return the kick where special teams is putting up more points than driving 125 miles per hour and getting pulled over by the police as he's out on the 45. He makes some moves past the 15 out, and he's going to be off to the races. Oh my God, yet another special uh. teams touchdown. I haven't seen this many special deliveries since G. Depp and P. Diddy. We <laughs> played the kick a field goal in overtime to win the game and Carter Ruff kicks it up and could they win the game? I bet you don't know anything about that, Nick Folk. Put your motherfucking head down. Isis runs towards a suicide, bro. Nah, this dude don't have that. He don't got no chill, man. No, no, he don't got no filter, man. No, no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the reward? A strip as Levante David strips the ball from Larry Fitzgerald. He picks it up at the 21 yard line. He's running it into the end zone for the score. We head out to Kansas City where Alex Smith is trying to make a comeback for the Kansas City Chiefs. He escapes from the pocket the same way Pablo Escobar escapes from a Colombian prison. He gets the ball at the end and he the 24 yard line, breaks a tackle, and he's going into the end zone for the score. The Chiefs have life. We go out to Jacksonville. I apologize for saying Los Angeles earlier. When the Jacksonville Jaguars need a field goal in order to make it a one possession game, but he misses a kick. I'm pretty sure you know all about that, Mr. Nick Folk. You'll cost their team game. As well, put your head back down. We head up to Arrowhead Stadium with a fist bump. He needs to put some points on the ice again. Man. Big Ben throws his left and goes through the defender's hands. It's caught by Antonio Brown. She's off to the races and he's gonna go into the end zone for the score. You can call the Steelers a pilgrim. This is Thanksgiving and then put the dagger into the Chiefs. Christopher Columbus, motherfucker, touchdown Pittsburgh Steelers. We go out to Oakland where the Android Chargers need to kick a field goal in order to win the game and they kick it through the uprights and the Android Chargers. Are they happy that they cut some young hoe? I hear he's working on the street corner somewhere. That's Oh. Is extremely ecstatic. Everybody's happy they don't got no bum ass kicker in Tampa who can't make it to goddamn kicks. Put your goddamn head down. You never gonna work in the NFL ever again. We head out to Kansas City where the Chiefs have one last opportunity to probably put some points on the board. James Harrison has some different ideas as he takes Alex Smith to the ground. He whispers in his ear, You got a better chance doing anal with your girlfriend after she took six shots of pro juice and not getting your dick dirty because they're not gonna win tonight. He That's nasty, Smith man. A metro car, he gives them 275 and tells them to please board the L train. The L train? <laughs> week 6 commentary. I am your host, the diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical individual. I am the what? Madonna's signing the fuck out. What? Yo, if, if football commentary. I, oh my god. If, if football commentary was like this all the time, I swear, bro. I would watch football every single day if the commentary was like this. I would be watching football endlessly. Like, that is too hilarious. I hope this video Same made somebody... Same. Same here. I hope it made somebody laugh today, like, most definitely, because he had me crying, like, with the Cardi B jokes, man. He kept killing Nick Folk. You don't know nothing about that, do you, Nick Folk? Put your head down. <laughs> I was like, dang, son. Oh, man. It, like the way the, the the coaches were celebrating with cocaine, that was that had me gone, man. But yeah, I hope this made somebody laugh. You know, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe. We're trying to, you know, just make you guys day. We're doing this for you guys, you know. And oh. Anything else? Nah, that's it for me, man. That y'all had me in tears, bro. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, thank you all for taking time out your day to watch this video. And we'll talk to you all later.